These feet are forced to cover a lot more terrain than most. The school bus provided for the Senzo Kutle Combined School only travels along the main road in the Moy River area. So it's not unusual for many pupils to walk an average of 20 kilometers to catch the bus to school and another 20 kilometers when they're dropped off later. The result? Pupils are often late for class and weary before the school day has even started. The children um, sometimes struggle to even have uniform. Um, they struggle uh, with a decent, I mean, pens and all those things. In many cases, parents have no choice but to pay for their children to travel in buckies instead of making the arduous trek on foot. Following the deadly crash, the province's Education and Transport Department say they'll conduct audits of schools that need transport. We are still going to meet with our HODs, both the HOD of uh, the Department of Education and the Department of Transport. Uh, of course, we will set a deadline for, the, for, the, for them to present a report to us as MECs. They also plan to formulate a policy to police bucky drivers who illegally charge to transport children in their vehicles. While government figures out how to provide better transportation to rural schools, on the ground, not much has changed since Monday's tragedy. Pupils have told us they have no option but to continue traveling to school in Bucky's, especially during winter. There are also concerns that officials are only focused on dealing with overloaded vehicles when there are other problems in the schooling system. Almost in all the farm schools, we still have classes that are where a teacher, one teacher, uh, combines uh, classes, like for instance, grade one and grade two. Pupils at Senzo Kotle Combined School are meanwhile struggling to come to terms with the loss of their classmates. We are proud of them, we are proud of our learners because they passed away struggling for their education. We're very, very sad as a school, as a community. One of the pupils killed in the crash, 12-year-old Nokwazi Pungula, will be laid to rest on Sunday. Judith Subban, Moy River, KwaZulu-Natal. No more. ENCA.com.